and welcome. I'm Donald Kendrick, founding music director of the Sacramento Choral Society and Orchestra, which is celebrating its 25th silver anniversary season this year. Last October, we presented our annual Stained Glass concert series in Sacramento's Fremont Presbyterian Church. On Saturday, October the 19th, 2019 at 8 p.m., with a salute to the music for St. Cecilia that featured Dr. Ryan Enright, organist, Carrie Hennessy, soprano, Michael Desnoyers, tenor, and baritone, Kevin Doherty. The concert included music by the English composer Malcolm Archer and works by American composers Daniel Elder, David Dickow, and an SCSO commissioned world premiere by Dr. Scott Perkins. It also featured the Sacramento premiere of Messe Solennelle en l'honneur de Sainte Cécile, or the Solemn Mass in honor of Saint Cecilia, by French Romantic composer Charles Gounod. This Mass was the first major work and was embraced enthusiastically. Gounod's new music was also acclaimed in the press, uh, rendering details and culminating in an enthusiastic summary. It is the work of a thoroughly trained artist, and what is more, uses poetry that is by a new poet. I'm delighted to introduce the soprano soloist, Carrie Hennessy, who performed this work with us. Hi, friends. I'm Carrie Hennessy, opera singer, music educator, co-founder of the Rogue Music Project, and Sacramento resident. I'm thrilled that I had the opportunity to sing with the Sacramento Choral Society last year on their music for St. Cecilia. Now I get to sing all over the place joyfully in my job, but it's always extra special to be able to sing in my own community, really make music with the people that make a difference in my town every single day. The singers of the chorus are completely dedicated artists and it's a joy to work with them. On this concert especially, Ryan Enright was so beautifully featured on the organ, really being able to show his mastery. I also got to sing with my dear friend in the Rogue Music Project, Kevin Doherty, which is always a joy. And to top it off, a world premiere by Dr. Scott Perkins, professor at Sac State and singer in the chorus. This this music building, this art building, this community, this is the kind of music making we want to see in the future and look so forward to. of the Mass are performed by three soloists, soprano, tenor, and bass, and a choir of four parts, sometimes with divided tenor and bass. The soloists act mostly as an ensemble without arias. Here is our baritone soloist, Kevin Doherty, who is also the classical music host for Capital Public. Kevin Doherty from Cap Radio and Rogue Music Project. In my four years in Sacramento, I've been lucky enough to sing with the Sacramento Choral Society and Orchestra on several different occasions. And I look back fondly on all of my performances with the group. But I think what I admire most about SCSO is their commitment to the community. And I think a great example of that was last year's Stained Glass Concert at Fremont Presbyterian Church. Who knows, St. Cecilia Mass was absolutely stunning and I was honored to be able to sing on it as a soloist What's more, though, Scott Perkins, who's a local composer and professor at Sac State, was commissioned to write a song for St. Cecilia's Day, and it was gorgeous. Not to mention, I got to sing with my good friend, Carrie Hennessy. It's 
an awe-inspiring experience to hear Ryan Enright play the organ. Uh, and as always, the choir was comprised of passionate and capable singers. So a big thanks to Don and Jim and the rest of the Sacramento Choral Society and Orchestra because for 25 years, you guys have been committed to producing world-class, community-driven performances. And I don't think I need to tell you that music and the arts are needed now more than ever. That said, I hope we get to return to the concert hall sometime very, very soon. But until then, be well, stay safe, and keep it classical. Sainte Cécile caused a, a kind of a shock. This simplicity, this grandeur, this serene light which rose before the musical world like a breaking dawn troubled people enormously. At first one was dazzled, then charmed, then conquered. Here is tenor soloist Michael Desnoyers. Hi, my name is Michael Desnoyers and I sang the tenor solos in the Stained Glass concert in 2019. I live in San Francisco and I love to visit Sacramento. It's a great city and I always feel so welcome when I get to take a weekend trip to come out and sing. Maestro Kendrick is a joy to work with and it was fantastic to get to hang out with and get to know Carrie and Kevin. The chorus is so kind and friendly and they're a really, really great group of singers. Gounod's music is really fun to sing. I love all of the dramatic lines and beautiful harmonies that he writes and I was honored to be able to perform it. There's nothing like the thrill of live singing, and I hope to be able to come back soon and sing with the Sacramento Choral Society and Orchestra. is ranked as among the best works by Gounod. In the faint distant future, when inexorable time has completed its work and the operas of Gounod are forever in repose in the dusty sanctuary of libraries, the Messe de Sainte-Cécile will still retain life. Thank you. Oh.